good to the tri-state area and our veterans all along. Uh, but tonight, before we kick this event off, this is July 5th, 2014. If you don't know, yesterday, obviously it was the 4th of July, but yesterday was uh, 200 years of our nation's national anthem. The national anthem was written on, uh, or in uh, 1814 by uh, a young man. We'll get to that though. But tonight, what I want to say is uh, 40 years ago, a group of veterans came home from war and were not greeted very, well, were not greeted. They were told to take their uniforms off, go to the other side of the airfield, burn them, and just blend back into society. Since that time, the United States has been trying to give back and make up for that wrong. Uh, and that group of men and women I'm talking about is the Vietnam Veterans of America. <clears throat> they did what they were told, they burned their uniforms, and now the only way you can find them is by their hats. So, if you see a, I don't think I've met too, met too many women from the Vietnam era, but the men of Vietnam, they're around, they're here, and uh, next time you see one, stop, take a couple minutes out of your day, take a few seconds out of your day if that's all you've got, and tell them two words, two words that they taught me when I got off the plane in Bangor, Maine, uh, when I came home from Iraq in 05. And those two words were so simple. So simple. Welcome home. They never heard it. So tonight, in front of you all, I'd like to look to a Vietnam veteran and say, Welcome home, sir. Welcome home. If you got one beside you, take a moment. Uh, I did the run for the wall in 2005, in May of 2005, with a group of motorcycles. Me and two other buddies that had just got home from Iraq, picked up, packed up from the tri-state area, and, and cruised across the United States to Herndon, West Virginia. That night we saw some fellas that uh, were with the run for the wall organization, and uh, we got to talking to them, told them where we had been, what we had done. They embraced us like we were one of theirs. And we went on about our evening and went ahead and checked into the room, went out and had a few tasty beverages. The next morning we got up, showered up, put our leather on, we're heading on into Washington, D.C. But we had one last thing to do, which is check out of the hotel and pay our tab. It had all been taken care of by those guys that we never got to thank that night before. So, before we turn to, if you got one of these tasty beverages, Raise your glass and salute to those who didn't go home and those that are still here today living with that war every hour, every minute for the rest of their life. Welcome home. <laughs> 